Hey everyone, it's no secret that the majority of our internet usage is at the risk of being hacked, be it via unsafe messaging applications or misconfigured operating systems. To counteract this void of digital security, penetration testing has become the norm when it comes to vulnerability assessment. Kali Linux is an operating system that has become a well-known weapon in this fight against hackers. A Linux distribution that is made specifically for penetration testers, Kali Linux has layers of features that we will be covering in today's lesson. Let's take a look at the topics to be covered in this video. We start by learning about Kali Linux and a basic explanation of its purpose. We take a look at the history of Kali Linux from the story of its origin to its current day exploits. Next, we learn a few distinct features of Kali that make it an attractive choice for penetration testers worldwide. Finally, we take a look at the multiple ways we can install Kali Linux to start our journey in the world of penetration testing. Let's start by learning about Kali Linux in general. Kali Linux, which is formerly known as Backtrack Linux, is an open source Linux distribution aimed at advanced penetration testing and security auditing. It contains several hundred tools that are targeted towards various information security tasks such as penetration testing, security research, computer forensics, and reverse engineering. Kali Linux is a multiple platform solution, accessible and freely available to information security professionals and hobbyists. Among all the Linux distributions, Kali Linux takes its roots from the Debian operating system. Debian has been a highly dependable and stable distribution for many years, providing a similarly strong foundation to the Kali desktop. While the operating system is capable of practically modifying every single part of our installation, the networking components of Kali become disabled by default. This is done to prevent any external factors from affecting the installation procedure which may pose a risk in critical environments. Apart from boosting security, it allows a deeper element of control to the most enthusiastic of users. We did not get Kali Linux since the first day. How did it come into existence? Let's take a look at some of its history. Kali Linux is based on years of knowledge and experience in building penetration testing and operating systems. During all these project lifelines, there have been only a few different developers as the team has always been small. The first project was called WAPEX, which stands for White Hat NOPEX. As can be inferred from the name, it was based on the NOPEX operating system as its underlying OS. WAPEX had releases ranging from version 2.0 to 2.7. This made way for the next project, which was known as WAX, or the long hand being White Hat Slacks. The name change was because the base OS was changed from NOPEX to Slacks. WAX started at version 3 as a nod, it carrying on from WAPEX. There was a similar OS being produced at the same time, Auditor Security Collection, often being shorted to just Auditor, which was once again using Nopix. Its efforts were combined with WAX to produce Backtrack. Backtrack was based on Slackware from version 1 to version 3, but switched to Ubuntu later on with version 4 to version 5. Using the experience gained from all of this, Kali Linux came after Backtrack in 2013. Kali started off using Debian Stable as the engine under the hood before moving to Debian testing when Kali Linux became a rolling operating system. Now that we understand the history and the purpose of Kali Linux, let us learn a little more about its distinct features. The latest version of Kali comes with more than 600 penetration tools pre-installed. After reviewing every tool that was included in Backtrack, Developers have eliminated a great number of tools that either simply did not work or which duplicated other tools that provided the same or similar functionality. The Kali Linux team is made up of a small group of individuals who are the only ones trusted to commit packages and interact with the repositories, all of which is done using multiple secure protocols. Restricting access of critical code bases to external assets greatly reduces the risk of source contamination which can cause Kali Linux users worldwide a great deal of damage as a direct victim of cybercrime. Although penetration tools tend to be written in English, the developers have ensured that Kali includes true multilingual support, allowing more users to operate in their native language and locate the tools they need for the job. 
The more comfortable a user feels with the intricacies of the operating system, the easier it is to maintain a stronghold over the configuration and the device in general. Since ARM-based single board systems like the Raspberry Pi are becoming more and more prevalent and inexpensive, the development team knew that Kali's ARM support would need to be as robust as they could manage with fully working installations. Kali Linux is available on a wide range of ARM devices and has ARM repositories integrated with the mainline distributions, so the tools for ARM are updated in conjunction with the rest of the distribution. All this information is necessary for users to determine if Kali Linux is the correct choice for them. If it is, what are the ways that they can go forward with this installation and start their penetration testing journey? The first way to use Kali Linux is by launching the distribution in the live USB mode. This can be achieved by downloading the installer image file or the ISO file from the Kali Linux website and flashing it to a USB drive with a capacity of at least 8 GB. Some people don't need to save their data permanently and a live USB is the perfect solution for such cases. After the ISO image is flashed, the thumb drive can be used to boot a fully working installation of the operating system with the caveat that any changes made to the OS in this mode are not written permanently. Some cases allow persistent usage in live USBs, but those require further configuration than normal situations. But what if the user wants to store data permanently in the installed OS? The best and the most reliable way to ensure this is the full-fledged hard disk installation. This will ensure the complete usage of the system's hardware capabilities and will take into account the updates and the configurations being made to the OS. This method is supposed to override any pre-existing operating system installed on the computer, be it Windows or any other variant of Linux. The next alternative route for installing Kali Linux would be to use virtualization software such as VMware or VirtualBox. The software will be installed as a separate application on an already existing OS and Kali Linux can be run as an operating system in the same computer as a window. The hardware requirements will be completely customizable starting with the allotted RAM to the virtual hard disk capacity. The usage of both a host and guest operating system like Kali Linux allows users a safe environment to learn while not putting their systems at risk. If you want to learn more about how one can go forward with this method, we have a dedicated video where Kali Linux is being installed on VMware while running on a Windows 10 operating system. You can find the link in the description box to get started with your very own virtual machine. The final way to install Kali Linux is by using a dual boot system. To put it in simple words, the Kali Linux OS will not be overwriting any pre-installed operating system on a machine but will be installed alongside it. When a computer boots up, the user will get a choice to boot into either of these operating systems. Many people prefer to keep both the Windows and Kali Linux installed so the distribution of work and recreational activities is also allotted effectively. It gives users a safety valve should their custom Linux installation run into any bugs that cannot be fixed from within the operating system. Hope you learned something new today. If you have any questions regarding this topic, feel free to ask your queries in the comments section below and we will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.